Thank you, Carl. That was very moving. We appreciate that greatly. A couple other. I want to. I want to introduce uh, some of the volunteers of Mott's Military Museum. Right back here. There's just a few. Of them. We have 70 of them, but these are the ones that help brought this equipment. In. So them too. They're, they're great, and they're keeping things moving over there. I also would like every single veteran in this audience to hold your hand up, and we can recognize you. Hold your hand. Now let's give them a great round. Of You want to come? Uh, the, I'm going to do Let There Be Peace on Earth, and what an apt number for a time like this. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be with God as our Father, family all are we. Let us walk with each other in perfect harmony. Let peace begin with me. Let this be the moment now. With every breath I take, let this be my solemn vow to take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally. Let there be peace on earth. Now I'd like to have Reverend Richard Matz come back and lead us in a memorial prayer. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we remember not only those that have given their lives in defense of this country, but we remember the men and the women who now serve. Serve our country in the military branches that defend us so ably. Watch over them, bless them, and keep them. Lord, we remember this community as we grow in your love. Help us always to honor and respect those who have defended our country, and may it always serve you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. Okay, as we conclude our services here today, I want you all, when you go home, and you go your different ways, and you're cooking out and having a great time, enjoying yourself, just remember, great price has been paid for you to be allowed to be able to do what you want to do when you want to do it in this great country of ours. So try to remember that. Thank you.